Hi there. I'm Dr. Ranjit Bajwa, one of Vista Optometry in Ventura, California. I wanted to talk to you today briefly about uh, some interesting news that was recently published in a uh, journal article from the British Medical Journal. Uh, the researchers had done a meta-analysis of 17 different studies predicting uh, what the likelihood of myopic macular degeneration and visual impairment would be over the course of the next couple of decades. Uh, what they found is in uh, assessing those 17 different studies and the data that was collected, we did some statistical modeling that showed that by 2050, they're expecting 55.7 million people with myopic macular degeneration. That's an increase over the 10 million that are estimated to be existing with myopic macular degeneration at this point in time. An interesting increase also was in the number of people that were blind due to uh, myopic macular degeneration. They're estimating that by 2050, there would be upwards of 18.5 million people, which is more than the 3 million here currently um, estimated in the world. Now, why is this important? When we talk about 2018 up to 2050, we're talking about our children. And one of the things that we do practice here at Buena Vista Optometry, as well as a number of other offices, also practice what we call myopia control. What myopia control is, is different uh, forms of intervention to help reduce the lengthening of the eye that causes myopia. When we are nearsighted, the light comes into focus in front of the retina, it doesn't go all the way to the back, and that's where we start talking about the need to wear glasses, such as the ones I'm wearing. When we have younger children and the stimuli that they encounter over the course of their day, particularly the amount of up-close work uh, with electronics such as phones, tablets, and computers, and the time they spend indoors as opposed to being outdoors, those can all lead to stimuli that lead to the growth of the axial length or the length of the eyeball leading to myopic uh, complications. Unfortunately, as your eye lengthens, the complications of health issues do unfortunately go up. And among those health issues, we've mentioned myopic macular degeneration, which can affect the central or the bullseye area of the retina, leading to damage that can cause permanent vision loss in the central portion of your vision. There's also the risk for uh, retinal detachments. As the length of the eyeball grows, we can start to have more and more tugging on the retina, leading to the retina coming off the back of your eye, and that can also lead to permanent vision impairment. There's a higher incidence of glaucoma in our nearsighted patients as well, as well as the formation of a certain type of cataract called the posterior subcapsular cataract that happens on the back surface of the lens and can really affect your vision rather quickly in a matter of a couple weeks to months, as opposed to years like we typically see for cataracts. So when we take all these things into account, if there's ways for us to intervene in that process of the lengthening of the eyeball, then we certainly do wanna talk about that. One of the ways that we do it here at our office in uh, Ventura Buena Vista Optometry is to provide orthokeratology or corneal reshaping. We have the ability to put a, a, con, a corneal retainer similar to a contact lens on before a child goes to bed. So they wear it while they sleep and that way when they wake up in the morning they take that contact lens off so they're not wearing any correction during the course of the day, which is good for sports or for school. But we have the ability to shape the cornea in a manner that can help minimize that stimuli for the eye to grow. Additionally, we have the ability to provide a medication eye drops. Uh, Low-dose atropine has been shown to uh, neutralize that stimulus for the growth of the eyeball, and that is also something we provide here at the office. Another option is to consider what we call a soft contact multifocal lens, similar to what we would provide for patients who have distance and uh, reading needs. Those have been shown to be effective at slowing the process as well. The big purpose here is if there's anything that we can do to help slow this process down or possibly intervene to help reduce the risk of our children developing these serious complications to arise, that's certainly something we want to discuss with you and your child and make sure that that's something that you know, can be minimized or mitigated as much as possible. So again, this is Dr. Bajwa from Buena Vista Optometry in Ventura, California. Just wanted to share some recent news and research that come out regarding myopic macular degeneration and the potential damage and the likelihood of our general population uh, worldwide experiencing significant vision impairment and what can be done to help minimize that. If you have any questions, please reach us at, at our website. You can reach me on Twitter at Dr. Raj Baj, uh, hashtag Ask an Eye Doctor. I'm always happy to answer any questions that you may have and I look forward to speaking with you again. Take care.